What is going on y'all? I'm Captain Jody with Bayou Bandit Charters. Welcome back to the channel. Today we're going to be cooking up the best blackened redfish poor boys you have ever put in your mouth. Stay tuned. I went out targeting redfish yesterday. I brought along my good buddy Nathan Rich with Southern Salt Fishing. He came aboard with me and we got in some good redfish. We'll link that video right there if you want to watch it click on it it's good good fun video but we've got these redfish i took the fillets and i cut them in half so each fish is actually four fillets and what we want to do is we want to pat these fish off make sure there's no scale on them we want to dry these redfish as much as possible Where that blackened seasoning sticks on them really really well i am using zatarain's blackening seasoning as well as frog bone blackening seasoning and we are going to put a heavy heavy coating on both sides on these redfish this is going to be so so awesome We're going to flip them over, do the same thing on the opposite side. All right, we've got a little vegetable oil in our skillet. We're going to get us a stick of butter. And we're going to melt quite a bit of that butter in that skillet, like so. That's what we want. We want that to get hot, hot, hot. We want to cook that redfish fast and hot, get a good little crispy coating on it. Won't be long now. All right, here we go. That is the sizzle that you want to hear. You want that cast iron skillet. Don't try cooking on anything else, y'all. Cast iron is the only way to do this and do this right. <clears throat> we're gonna cook it about two minutes and then we're gonna flip it. While we wait, we hydrate. What you're looking for is the edge of the fish. You can see how it's starting to get cooked, starting to get done, how it's starting to change colors. Oh yeah. That's what I'm talking about right there. Woo, that's gonna be so good, y'all. Give it a few minutes, about another two minutes. On that side, she'll be ready to go on some bread. All right, it's been about two minutes. Black and red fish is ready to go. We're gonna pull it off, put it on a paper towel. Let it absorb some of that grease. Ooh, that's gonna be so good. Now we're gonna get our ciabatta bread. That's what I like using. We're gonna put it in there, in that buttery, oily mixture. And we're gonna mash that bread down a little bit. Let it absorb that juice, that seasoning, that oil. That is what makes a perfect redfish poor boy. That bread has gotta be right. Got to get that bread right. Oh yeah, that's what we're talking about right there. That is going to be off the chain. Pull that bread off, lay it right there. 
All right, we got a little Duke's mayonnaise. We're gonna get some of that good mayonnaise. Put it on our awesome, awesome bread. A little bit of mayonnaise right there on the top and bottom. Just like so. I like this Bayou sauce, Bayou dipping sauce. Put a little bit of Bayou sauce on there. Ooh, like so. We get our black and red fish filet put on there. And last but not least, a little good old coleslaw, y'all. Now that is a perfect blackened redfish poor boy. It just don't get any better than that. Here we go. Oh my God. I'm telling y'all, <laughs> it don't get no better than this. Oh, that bread is flavored so good. Redfish is so good. Absolutely incredible. If you don't try that, you're missing out. Hope y'all enjoyed this video. If you did, give the video a like. If you hadn't subscribed to my channel already, please consider doing so. I put out a video every Sunday morning at nine o'clock. Inshore fishing, rod and reel, a little bit of cooking, a little bit of flounder gigging, a little bit of bow fishing, a little bit of how-tos, a little bit of everything. I'd appreciate the subscribe. Thank y'all. See you on the next one.